Whoa. Take the tires. Take out the tires. Come on. This guy hasn't played GTA, has he? Bowling, bowling appreciation. Let's go. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna snitch, isn't he? Marco. Wait. No, no, don't wait. Damn. Say that. <laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today. We're gonna watch some more Legend of Korra. We're in book two, Spirits. And it's chapter or episode five, Peacekeepers. Now, before we get into this episode, though, if you want to see the full length reaction to this episode and pretty much every other show and episode and movie that I'm doing on this channel, yeah, I can. It's available on my Patreon, link in the description. Also available on Patreon is the next episode. So episode 6, if you want to see that right now, it's available on my Patreon. Check it out. Also, you do get some free stuff, rewards and stuff, you know, for your continued support on Patreon as well. Like mugs and shirts and hoodies and stuff. You know, bags and shit. All kinds of stuff. Check it out. Thank you for any and all support. I really appreciate you, man. And uh, yeah, speaking of merch, by the way, I do have like other uh, another store that's separate that has like tank top, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, you know, women's shirts, men's unisex, you know, football stuff. Yeah, no. Check it out. You might like it, you might not. Link in the description either way. Thank you again for all the support subscribers, patrons, YouTube members, and everyone everywhere. Thank you so very much. Now then, last episode we ended on a pretty good cliffhanger with Bolin. Yeah. Bolin and his very caring and loving girlfriend. <laughs> Man, things are going in a direction that I did expect. I cannot say that I did not expect this, but I very much expected this. And that's one of the reasons why it makes it very frustrating for me um, to watch because it is just so like, you're like, okay, well, I don't think anybody didn't see this coming. So like, how are we still here? Should have been able to do something to stop this, but you didn't. Why? Cora is a teenager though, so she's got a long way to go, a lot to learn, and um, yeah, she was being manipulated. It's not easy when you're going through something like that. Everybody, you know, especially like people such as, I forgot his name, but her uncle, you know, they have been manipulating people from like a very long time, you know, the whole thing with uh, him and his brother. From a very young age, you know, he has been manipulating the whole village to think that his brother was the bad guy, which was revealed in the other episode. So that guy is very good at doing what he's doing. So you can't exactly blame Cora, but it is still very frustrating, though, when you as a viewer are, can see where it's heading and the main character can't. You're like, come on, man, just for once, can we be on the same page? But I, I like I said, she's a kid, so we have to keep that in mind. And also... The dude who is manipulating her is very good at manipulation. I mean, he literally manipulated an entire tribe, you know, turned it against his brother. So here we are. Let's see how that is going to unfold. So without any further ado, Legend of Korra, episode five in book two, Peacekeepers. Brother versus brother. Yeah, bro v bro. Her and her father, she turned against him, sparking civil war. The yeah. Will she be able to convince President Raikou to send troops to help the South? El Presidente. Here we go. Book two spirits. Chapter five. Peacekeepers. Welcome home, Avatar. Thanks for starting a war. <laughs> uh. The people of the South need to see that the Avatar is on their side in the fight. Great. That should calm them down. <laughs> I just think having you there blatantly supporting one side will only make things work. Yeah, I think that's true. I gotta go to work. I better go check on my factory. I'm going to find out about this peace march. And I am dying for a pedicure. <laughs> Let's go, Julie. <laughs> uh, what should I be doing? Varric? Yeah. Have you ever... Hey! Sure, I live here. <laughs> oh, forgot its name, man. Come on! It's hiding from Varric. Ah, oh, let's go. Bolin and Varric, they, I think they'll get along <laughs> really well. Keeping it safe is our number one priority. <laughs> okay, then. I told Cora what I thought she needed to hear. Yeah, manipulation. 
<laughs> yeah, her husband. <laughs> I love the two kids, man. Watch me, Pokey. You lay down and roll over. Roll over. No, no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now roll over. Ugh, classic over reward. <laughs> Pokey, where are you going? Command respect. Ah. Oh. <laughs> How would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? Yeah! Finally, the dad being a dad. Proper dad. I like that. No, I mean, he was always good. It's Aang that I, you know. But I think he realized that, and I think he's now trying to do even better than he was before. Wow. Hey! Stop! Republic City Police! Whoa. Oh, that's. <laughs> take the tires, take out the tires. Come on, this guy hasn't played GTA, has he? Or he'd know. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. The North might not be responsible for this. Of course they're responsible. Who else would it be? Someone waiting for an opportunity to resist to take advantage of the situation? In their favor, you know? Usually, when I see flashing lights like this, it's because I got hit in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting hit with a rock all the time. Yeah, let's go. I'm so happy for bowling. It's bowling! <laughs> bowling! Bowling! Bowling, bowling, bowling appreciation. Let's go. Let's see if we can get. <laughs> How have you been spending your time lately? Well, I took a trip south for the Glacier Spirits Festival. Was briefly engaged to a princess. <laughs> went through kind of a tough breakup there. Yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> accidentally. Um. But there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City. Am I right, people? Yeah, let's go, pro bending. <clears throat> well, I definitely don't miss getting hit with things all <laughs> and the humiliating losing. I mean, that gets pretty old. You know, sometimes I actually cry myself to sleep. <laughs> I guess what I most are these fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fans. Giz, whenever I get confused, I just say Republic City. <laughs> yep, that's a trick. <laughs> I just figured out your true calling. Announcer, advertisement. Sir, the Southern Water Tribe. Just a second. Keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would it be but the Northerners? Now, I know that when you're young, it's hard to keep perspective. You're the one who's lost perspective. Cora. Leave my tribe in Come on. pictures. Sending troops is not something I can do at this time. That's true. He's very politician-like, which means he's probably not going to do anything, but Cora, chill it. My family is going to be wiped out, and it'll be on your head for doing nothing about it. Yeah. Bro. Word about his campaign. At the South Pole, that has nothing to do with them. How could you take his side? What's with you and sides? Why do you always think I'm working? <laughs> she thinks everyone's working against her. That's the thing with her. It's I'm just trying to save the world. Well, you wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. I can't talk to you when you're like this. <laughs> you're the one who's like this. <laughs> you're the one who's like this. Yep. <laughs> we all are. We all are. Whoa, they had attacked him or is it? <gasps> That's Bolin and him. Okay, yeah, that's them too. Oh, hello. See, I told you I could do it. <laughs> have to find a way to make some sail. Got it. Idea storm. <laughs> Let's go. Inside look at how Varric Global Industries stays at the forefront of imagination innovation or imagination. Let's go, imagination. <laughs> Brain work requires increased circulation. Let's do this! <laughs> Alright, chilly and upside down, huh? The hand shoes. Hold on a tick. Sell some mecha tanks. I know some people who need them. We'll ship them south. That's perfect. 
You'll be making money for your company. All right, great idea so far. It's dangerous on the seas right now, but I'm willing to try if you are. Let's go. Risky. But I love crazy risky. Let's do it. What about that hand shoes, though? Isn't that just gloves? <laughs> as soon as people see this, they'll be lining up to fight Unalak. Julie, do the, uh, the thing. <laughs> Do the thing. Had a film crew documenting the entire northern invasion. Is <laughs> that <laughs> <Not> real? <laughs> Water tribe hero battling the evil Unalak. No one will root for the north after they see the adventures of the propaganda. <laughs> Nuck duck. I'm not. Uh, duck. Propaganda. General Iroh to fight Unalak without President Raiko ever even knowing. What? That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Nuktuk! He's a man of action! But he's got a heart of gold. <laughs> In the tundra! Look, I'm trying to do something that's actually important here. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait a second. Him! That's the guy that attacked the center. I gotta go show this to Beifong. Glad I could help. Nuktuk saves the day. Yeah, let's go, Nuktuk. You are in charge. Never forget that. Now call Pokey. Pokey, come here. <laughs> Pokey. <laughs> You're rewarding him for bad behavior. But he's tickling me. <laughs> uh... You can't let him nap in the bed with you. You are the alpha lemur. He has to sleep on the floor. Mm. <laughs> no, Pokey, this is my bed. You sweep on the floor. Pokey. Being alpha lemur is long. <laughs> yeah, it is. I ID'd the guy I saw at the scene. That's great, Mako. Yeah. Mako? He's a member of the Agni Kais. <laughs> Did you learn anything about that remote control I found at the scene? Any prints or anything? Could they get cr prints? Well, they're fairly advanced, advanced, but are, are how? I don't know. Some big triad busts for a rookie. Thank you, sir. And you're dating the Avatar, right? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting any. Uh oh. Compromise the security. Uh oh. Would you, officer? Uh oh. Remind you that you've sworn an oath. You're a man of the law before anything else. Yes, sir. Keep up the good work. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna snitch, isn't he? Marco. Wait. No, no, don't wait. Damn. To accidentally run into a hostile northern blockade. No choice but to defend ourselves, wouldn't we? Because <laughs> if a single vessel leaves this harbor without my say-so, you'll be court-martialed. Am I clear? Crystal, sir. Your activities. Blue Crystal. Avatar does not command the military of the Republic. Don't go behind my back again. <laughs> guy yeah that's politicians for you grandfather have always been good friends to the avatar and the southern water tribe i'm sure they'll be willing to help wait, 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 who? <laughs> oh that's <laughs> wait hold on who's the who, who are there who's their grandfather and them if it's zuko well they weren't always great friends but yeah i get your point what happened with general iroh he was going to help but then president raiko showed <laughs> No way Maka would have told. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Pokey, sit. Roll over. Hey! I train all the lemurs. Watch! You got them all? Let's go, formation! <laughs> Alpha lemur Milo! <laughs> yes, you have. In more than one way. Training discipline for now. Why don't you and Pokey just have fun and play? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, me too. All of them are gonna follow. The President of the Republic asked me a direct question. You betrayed me and my family! Whoa, what the hell? Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. I guess I am. Oh, what? Uh um what the flamio happened <laughs> flamio hot man yeah. you should have seen air temple island after tenzin broke up with me 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, Lin Beifong. She's still crying. It'll be all right. Oh, well, just to say that. <laughs> no one steals my bullet! <laughs> What is that? It's a spirit? Whoa. Avatar State, let's go the thing. Okay, she's mastered that, all right, cool. Was she? Oh no, she hasn't. What happened? What happened? Time to eat! <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Oh, come on. Alrighty then. Wow, it's a pretty good episode. Um, Before we get into breaking this one down, though, if you want to see the full length reaction to this and pretty much the entire series so far, you can, and pretty much everything else that I do as well, all the other shows and movies and all that good stuff as well as early access so if you want to see the next episode right now you can that's available in my patreon link in description also as a thank you you guys will get some rewards as well that's merch cut mugs you know prints shirts hoodies you know on top of the full length reactions and early access and all that so thank you check it out link in the description and thank you so much patrons for supporting me all this time now then if you do want merch just on its own there is a separate store i have where you guys can get some hoodies shirts tank tops you know mugs bags and stuff and all of the above and more you can it's available on my uh, store link in the description check it out do give me some ideas though for what else to put on there and i'll do it now then about the episode varick and bolin um spending time together was a lot of fun um cora is being rash again uh that's just who she is we're gonna have to accept that and um i, th I i'm not entirely sure if her decision here is one that i can be too mad at because it is unfair what is happening to her and her family and the entire tribe be, you know because the whole family the whole tribe really has been betrayed um by the northerners and uh, they're being attacked and they're being in a way held captive you know so she kind of has no choice but to be a bit rash and a bit you know aggressive uh, breaking it off with Marco, although Marco is the one who did that. Um, I mean, it was honestly, I mean, if you just watched the few last few episodes, it was heading that way. It was never really gonna work out in the long term. They just did not get along all that well, you know. Mm, and, um, but they are teenagers at the same time as well, so like, it's nothing new. But yeah, that happened. Marco is looking for the people who are responsible for the bombings and what exactly is going on there. He's getting very close to it. Lin Beifong learning about the, you know, the Marco and Avatar. And he's like, well, you should have seen the Air Temple after. I was done with it. I'm surprised she just took it out on the Air Temple and not Tenzin. I'm surprised Tenzin's still alive. Varric is great, so is Bolin. He told, so he told the president, which it is his duty. He did his duty and uh yeah he did kind of backstab her but he didn't hear it from her so did he really you know he didn't tell a secret of hers that she told him to keep although you don't really need explicit someone to tell you explicitly that hey this is a secret don't tell anyone people can know that on their own and i think he did which is why he was kind of when he was telling the president about it he was like he wasn't too happy about it so I think he did know that what he's doing is not exactly right, but then at the end of the day, it is right. So it's never, ah, it's never so black and white, John. I mean, there's always that gray area, whether it's right or wrong or what to do. I would rather have him not tell, but he did tell. That is his job. So I understand both sides, basically. But in that case, I would have rather have him not tell than do tell but uh what exactly is gonna happen now cora has been attacked by the ghosts or the spirits 
And she's out, it would seem like, but I don't know. She wasn't in Avatar State, right? Because I was thinking if she dies in Avatar State, that's it, right? That's the end of the whole Avatar cycle, which is far greater than anything else. And Flamio, Hotman. I like how that was out of uh, touch when Aang said it, and now because Aang said it, Aang the trendsetter now, people are saying, well, Lynn said it, so I don't know if others are saying it as well. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty good line. What the Flamio <laughs> happened here? That, and I also like when uh, Varric goes, do the thing. <laughs> I like Varric, man. He's cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty good uh, episode. Very entertaining. A lot happened. Looking forward to seeing how this one unfolds. So far, it seems like every decision the Avatar makes is the wrong one, or at least leads to the wrong result. You know, the, a result that they, uh, the Avatar wasn't hoping for. But that is what it is at the moment. And uh, I'm excited to see how that one where it takes us. Yeah. If you want to see the next episode, you can right now. It's available on my Patreon. Link in the description. Also rewards and stuff for your continued support on Patreon. Thank you, patrons, YouTube members and subscribers for liking, sharing, becoming patrons, commenting, everything really. All of it helps. And thank you so very much. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a nice.